experience and today's video is going to be about uh, candied ginger it's also um, it's also you can find it under crystallized uh, ginger um, the recipe that uh, uh, the way I'm going to make it today uh, I'm going to use honey you can use honey or um, sugar organic sugar if you like um, personally I like the honey variety better it's not uh, is sweet. The, um, for me, the the other kind um, is a little bit too sweet. One thing I really like about uh, the ginger, it's uh, the ginger candy. It's it's a really sweet, hot treat, and it's really good for you. Um, it's actually a medicinal plant, ginger. Uh, so you can use all kinds of different things to uh, sweeten it, um, brown sugar, raw sugar, corn syrup, maple syrup, honey. Um, I like the, like I said, I like the, the honey. Um, and I'm just going to read a little bit uh, here, you know, um, Asian doctors regard it as a remedy for digestive troubles as well as for an overall tonic. So it's just overall good for you. So one of the other um, uh, things we're going to do in a, another video uh, is using ginger is a traditional ginger brew. Um, so I think you'll really like that if you like um, ginger. Uh, it says it's also well documented that uh, ginger relieves indigestion, nausea, colic, gas, heartburn, morning sickness and motion sickness. Um, ginger seems to protect against ulcers and has several ac actions against internal parasites and it may even ease acid reflex. Old-time healers also knew that ginger was good for coughs. Further, it warms you when you are chilled and paradoxically, paradoxically, <laughs> paradoxically, oh boy, helps reduce a fever. It Ginger compresses, um, relieves sore muscles, stomach cramps, and swollen glands. Recently, much medical research, particularly in Europe and Japan, has documented the therapeutic effects of the ginger rhizome, which contains 400 plus con compounds, including enzymes and antioxidants. It goes on. So this article is called um, Candied Ginger Simplified. So I don't remember the web address uh, where I got that one, but I have a couple other one. Uh, crystallized tea and ginger and honey lollipops. Um, uh, that, uh, so I kind of combine recipes. I look at the thing and I see how do they make it and okay this is how I can do it my own way and another one I found here is honey candied ginger medicine never tasted so good the popular Asian after dinner nibble crystallized ginger is an effective digestive, digestive aid um, and uh, I agree with what this uh, person who wrote this uh, article says is it is however more sugary than many of us would prefer so it's nice to do it with with um, honey instead so for our uh, honey ginger candy or caramelized uh, ginger we're gonna need some nice uh, straight um, not a lot of uh, I don't know what they call them bumps on them uh, we don't want them to be uh, wrinkled and dried out. We want the freshest, juiciest uh, ginger we can. And we can use uh, some good honey. What we get is, is some nice uh, ginger candy. I, yeah, maybe I was a little sloppy, but could have drained off more honey. But, uh, it's really really good and uh, with the extra honey I was um, 
saving it and I tried a little uh, uh, what would you call lollipop but you can see this honey is not quite cooked enough you can see the color it's more of a, a light uh, brownish color uh, whatever color we want to call it it's lighter but if you look over here at this uh, at these these are have a lot of foam in it uh, here you can see there's a combination of the foamy but it's quite quite a bit darker quite a bit darker so you can see from my wax paper that other one wouldn't peel off and these peel right off and uh, so actually that's what I'm gonna try here I'll, I'll pick up my ginger from the um, from this wax paper and roll up all this extra honey and make some some candy out of it it's really good uh, it's really healthy and also we get over a liter I get a, about a liter and a half from uh, what I made of some ginger tea and I'm also going to be using it in my ginger beer plant which is going to be on another video and I'll show you that uh, Friday's my next day to make uh, ginger beer plant uh, brew <laughs> and we'll we'll show you that on Friday but it's truly a you could say a permaculture um, idea here because you get all of these good products and it is healthy and uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to um, peel and cut the ginger root okay here we are uh, we have our ginger and I have a plate and I have a spoon the reason I have the plate is uh, I'm gonna peel put the peelings on the plate and I can give it to the rabbit um, do it however you want but it's really quite simple it's just a matter of taking the, the spoon in your hand and the ginger and just gently rubbing over the ginger root itself and it's just around and around and around several times and have peeled, almost peeled, ginger root. Do you see how easy it, it, it is? There's no taking out a knife and losing a lot of the, the ginger itself. Uh, and you get all of the, the peel, often just, just a few seconds here. Um, I think I picked up this piece earlier. I showed on the back side there was some um, little bumps or nod nodules or whatever you want to call them uh, and, and if you want to clean that up I'll probably just take the knife a little bit later and trim those out but yeah, it's re really fast so I'm gonna do the rest of those and then we'll we'll cut them up into bits so now we have our bowl full of ginger root. It's uh, all peeled. A small plate of peelings. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of video magic today. Uh, in the middle of all this I'm going to run to the store and I'm going to buy more ginger. But right now I'm just going to take this over to the sink and I'm going to rinse it a little bit then we'll come back. Oh, that was really fast. Uh, just a quick trim. Uh, you can even take your knife and, and kind of do it this way if you find anything that's left over. The spoon uh, works good, but so does so does the knife. My rabbits will have some some good uh, leftovers. But uh, now, I mean, you all know how to use a knife, I know. But uh, just to show you approximately uh, some good sizes here, uh, and experiment. It's uh, Nothing here is written in stone, but uh, just from what I did yesterday, it seems like 
these are, are a pretty good uh, size. So you can see they're, they're, quite, uh, they're quite thick. Uh, but they'll cook down. Hello, welcome back. Our bowl runneth over. So um, with what uh, I had done uh, um, before, uh, what we have in here now is around uh, two pounds, a little over two pounds, around one kilo of uh, ginger root. And you can see they're pretty good uh, slices if I put my finger there, around the thickness uh, width of my finger. Again, experiment. There's, it's not an absolute, it's, it's a recipe. It's how you want to do it. So I've got the stove running, uh, going there and uh, put my ginger root in the pan. I've got uh, cold water and uh, quite a bit more than uh, I did the last batch. So uh, we want to make sure that the, the root is, is covered. There we go. Get a little bit boiled away. So that was a, uh, uh, yeah, about 44 ounces there, 1.3 liter. So you can see here, my pot is is uh, is is quite full. And uh, move the camera here a bit. I've got my honey uh, in a jar. Uh, I'm sorry, in some hot water. My jars of honey. Yesterday I uh, just used a spoon to spoon out the honey, but that last jar was getting kind of empty and I didn't want to waste it and uh, it's hard to get it all out, so I heated it up. We're gonna let this come to a, a boil. Uh, I got my kitchen timer here going for 10 minutes, so once it comes to a boil, uh, I'll get my timer going. We're getting it uh, pre-cooked a little bit, uh, so then when we put it in the honey, it's gonna cook longer. Um, we'll talk a little bit about more uh, cooking times when it's in the honey when we get to that step. But this is gonna boil. I'm going to strain it in a colander and back in the pot. And we're gonna do that three times. So, all right, we have our uh, ginger has been boiled and drained three times and our honey is still um, in a liquid form. So now we're just going to carefully uh, pour honey over our ginger and we want the, um, the um, honey to be, I'm sorry. <laughs> We want the ginger to be just covered. Uh, so there's quite a bit of uh, ginger in there. So it might take, uh, it might take this whole other container, but uh, that's all right. We're gonna get a lot of ginger candy from that. So. Pouring and pouring and Now, you could say is the time for waiting. It's going to take uh, several, several hours. Um, so our candied honey ginger is all done. Quite a nice tray full. And with the leftover honey, I wrapped it in some plastic wrap quite sticky, but uh, I still have more to do, but this is uh, at least a little bit of it right now. The, it's a little bit sticky, so I experimented it, and I took uh, one piece and I uh, put it in some, hot, uh, some sugar, and it actually wasn't as sweet as the ones that are just completely candied uh, in, in sugar. So I think I'm gonna get a bowl of 
sugar and dip these in there. Otherwise, I'm gonna have just one big glob. Um, something I noticed on this batch, from my first batch of doing it, um, maybe they were cut a little bit too thick. Um, it also could be that, that my ginger that I get in, in my store here is a little bit older. Um, the younger ginger is going to be more tender. The older ginger is a little bit more fibery. So I think uh, these could have cooked a little bit longer, but they were getting quite the right color. So I think maybe a little bit thinner next time. So it's just all experimenting and fun. So. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.